Hello everybody, it's um, Claire and I'm back. Uh, this time I am doing a review on my much loved Mulberry Lily. <laughs> so yes, I thought I'd do a review in this bag. Um, I've had it for maybe six plus years and it is used a lot. This bag is used a lot. It is the black bag, the black Mulberry Lily in the medium, so it's the largest size. And yeah, I, I wear it every day I go to work, which is only two days a week saying that. But those two days, I always, always carry this bag. Um, reasons, because it carries a lot of stuff in it. It re really does, I'll show you. I've actually got some of my work stuff in it from um, yesterday. So I will show you what can go into this bag. And it's really deceptive because although she's quite cute, she fits a lot into her, she really does. So yes, great bag, great leather, black, hard-wearing bag. Um, had it for a while, wearing really well. There is no problems at all, bar, you know, some sort of scrapes and marks on the, the cylinder hardware. But I guess that's to be expected, especially if, like me, you're just throwing down bags on the floor um, and not taking much care which unfortunately you tend to do with this bag because it does feel so hard wearing. So you do sort of chuck it about a bit. It has the beautiful chain strap and that grain of the leather, which makes it feel like it's rather hardy. Um, so yes, brilliant, brilliant bag. What I will say is this bag weighs a metric ton. It really does, it is so heavy. I wear it across the body and I'm not, I don't actually work in an office. I am out and about, walking about. And if I'm doing a lot of walking about with it, I often get neck and shoulder pain. I know, I'm probably pathetic, but it is, it is a weighty bag, especially if you're packing it out the way I am and uh, with heavy things as well. It makes it really, really heavy. But I would still recommend it to anybody. This bag will probably stand years and years and years and years and years of wear. It'll probably be passed down to my daughter. It is a brilliant bag. Um, and yes, you just have to put up with these things. You know, like, like even small children, you know, who we love so much. They have their moments and this bag's problem is it weighs a ton. But yes, I'll show you what can fit inside this bag. Um, I have a makeup bag. Very cute actually by Lillian Lionel. It has about six or seven lipsticks in. It has plastic airport bag in for liquids. It has everything in it. So that goes in. Um, my Louis Vuitton Agenda, which I have done a review on this channel on. Had this for 10 years, another good buy. Have a look at that review if you fancy it. A tangle teaser with no lid. Covered in hair, disgusting. Uh, and a giant tablet that I use for work. Um, yeah, the size of my head and the tablet. The tablet is big and it fits in there very comfortably. And then all those things, you don't need to see. Children's snacks, millions of receipts. It can also fit in my iPhone that I'm using to film this on, my keys and a child's sippy cup. So this bag holds a lot. Um, and this is what it's like on the inside. It has got a huge space, really. And there's a few pocket here and another pocket in here where I put my phone. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Like I say, holds a lot. Hard wearing and um, goes with everything, I find. And yes, I tend to wear it long and across the body, but with the strap, you can also wear it like this, shorter. And it can sling over the shoulder and be that length, which is quite nice, so alternative. I, like I said, tend to wear it long across the body and it comes to hip. It comes to the hip on me and I'm five foot six. So yeah, that's it. So yes, great bag. Like I said, I would recommend it. Um, I don't think the black um, lily ever goes into the sale, does it? I saw in the last sale, mind you, that they had the black base water and I was very surprised at that because I thought usually it was just sort of seasonal colours 
um, rather than the, the classics like the black we go into the sale so maybe you could possibly get a bargain if um, if it's sale time whenever you're watching this but yes I love my bag I really do um, and it's one of those purchases that I've never regretted I have also had two other mulberry bags that I have previously sold on eBay another one was a postman's lock bag um, it was smaller than this I had a different chain, stra chain strap I just didn't really use that one too much I bought it from an outlet whenever we were away in England um, and then I also had a big pink one which the colour just didn't work for me unfortunately so now I have this one and I also have a Betty's water and both of those bags get somewhere um, if you're interested on this channel I also have a review of the Saint Laurent Lulu toy bag um, it's a great bag, very different from this one. This one feels so much more hard wearing than that one. Um, but yes, that's on this channel and also a review of the GHD Glide hot brush if you want to have a look at that. So if you're interested and want to see some more, please subscribe and thank you very much for watching. Bye.